Okay, so we're gonna do snaps here. Um, you can buy snap sets at Joann's. I have really struggled with finding good snaps on the home market. So I invested in um, a die set to do it just the industrial way, I guess. Um, the only thing is that you would have to use this size snaps in order to use it on the industrial die that I have. Look in here. Da da da. See it? Ooh. But you you have to buy one of those for every size. So the press, you only need one press, but the die, you need a separate die for every size. And um, snaps, there's actually four parts to a snap. So you, so the die is a four piece set that you would buy, yeah. It's these metal things here that um, press together the snap pieces for you automatically. So this would be, I need all four of these and they're expensive. I mean, it came with this guy. So I paid, I don't remember, 80 to 120, the whole set. I really like Cam. Snaps brand. Oh, okay. And there, I've looked it up right now, and theirs is starting around fifty. And they and do it plastic has the press. and metal. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. It just depends on what. And then how much? Okay. So we're a shared classroom, so I try to keep it as organized as I possibly can. Okay. I, I. So, anyways, this is how I keep it organized. Okay. Um, so I have like four little containers. Um, this part of the snap we call the female part. So there's like a female top and bottom. And then this is the male top and bottom. So there's four parts that make up a snap. Okay. I guess I'll do one on here. So, um, so I'll start with the female. So these are the little two uh, die sets. Um, the bottom one just kind of... Okay, I'm just gonna tilt this guy. So it's just a hole and it just kind of goes in there pretty easy. It's not too hard. And then this top part, there's a screw. So righty tighty, lefty loosey. Yeah. There we are. Cool. So it's not that hard to switch out. Okay, so um, then I have this one's female top. So that means you snap it into the top. So there's like a little hole. Hopefully you can see that. That gets, and this is the back. We, that part won't snap into the top. Only this part snaps in. So you got to find where, and it just kind of clicks to the top. So you know it's in the right spot. And then I have the bag female, the bottom piece. There you go. Um, and the bottom piece fits perfectly, spoke too soon, um, in this little circle, like that. So there's been many snaps I've tried to apply myself where I didn't have that perfect die, and they turn out bumpy and crooked. So this die holds this shape so I won't get all funky. Okay. So now I just need to, you know, you mark your fabric where your snap goes. Again, this notebook sample so it can go anywhere. And we do need to make a hole. So I use this tool, it's called an awl, A-W-L, and it's really sharp at the bottom and thin, but the higher up, the wider it gets. So it's designed to go in between the weave of your fabric and kind of press apart the yarns without damaging your fabric. It's trying not to break the yarns and threads so it won't fray. And then the further I push it, the bigger the little hole gets. So he's a handy tool. So you can see the little hole it made without supposedly damaging my fabric. So I want that post right here to go in that hole. I guess I'll try to hold this at a tilt just so you can kind of see it on the camera. Okay, boom. So I got the little post in there. Okay, so I want to make sure my die is in the right spot. So I'm done with the females, taking it out, not gonna lose it. So I like to kind of put it in this tin, just to keep track of it. Now I need the male. So same deal where the bottom one just easy plops in and the top one's a screw, righty tighty. Should get that guy in. Okay, um, so I get the male, the little bag that says male top. 
and the little like nipple thing snaps in there. So this is it upside down. Upside down's bad. You want it face up. And I just put it in there and snaps right in. And then I look for the, this guy it says male bottom, because it goes on the bottom um, die set. And there's like a hole in the bottom. And there's a post. The hole goes on the post, which is nice. So it keeps it in place. Um, I made a little hole with my awl, the post should slide right into that hole. See how the post is in that hole? And all I have to do is press down with the press, and then it just snaps off, and it should be in there perfectly. So this is the true test. Yay, it snaps, that sounded good. Now here's another true test, can it unsnap? It apart. <laughs> yeah, there's so many snaps I've done, not with my press, but just trying to hammer them in or whatever, where it's like, okay, they snap, but then they're so strong, when I unsnap it, the fabric rips or the little prongs come unfolded and it's just a mess.